our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, ready to go for round one, and so is the MMA legend Antonio Rodrigo Minotauro Noguera. Of all the things he does well, perhaps his greatest strength is his ability to withstand damage, the heart and the toughness for days. Certainly something his opponent is aware of. More often than not, this is not a guy you can get out of there quick. Oh, he's got a big move. The body will see if he can follow up. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. That was a big check. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just missed with the left there. Circling to his right. Drew lands a jab there. Well, this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he's definitely to the octagon. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. No Garrett going for the takedown here, but he misses. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the no Garrett gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? He passes the half. No Garrett's trying for a submission here. Oh, that bond flu choke is tight. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's able to get out. Oh, good job. It looked like he was going to tap with his left hand, but instead. He bridged off to the right to turn back into him to release some of the pressure on the bomb. Kucho's beautiful defense. Oh, another submission attempt by him. Oh, I'm no expert, but that bomb Kucho looks like Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sunk. Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Wow, that is great submission defense. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Come on, Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, I thought that all was done. He gets out of the game. It was over, John. It was so close to being finished, but he stayed calm. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was... Oh. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, Good. second round underway. That one was a great match. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's a tonight. master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Oh, nice takedown defense. All right, side control now. Mm, nice. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the Result here tonight by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. 
All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Antonio!